What's up everyone? So we're back at it again with another vlog. Um, more insight into my USMLE studying. Um, as I said, I'm going to try to keep you with me as I go through it just because it keeps me sane to talk to you guys, but also maybe it'll help you. So with that being said, let's get to it. Part two. So, uh, I'm just coming from the gym. I went there. I, I actually go out and walk, and I do about an hour. And this is actually something else I'm doing. At least, like, as the studying ramps up, I'm only in, like, my first week. I'm actually giving myself a hard cutoff for, like, the amount of time I study. So, I try to do explicitly about eight hours a day, and I keep track of that using, like, just a timer. So, if I study for eight hours, doesn't matter. I usually try to, like, end my night at that point because I feel like... If I actually spent eight dedicated hours of studying, it's kind of like a full-time job. And I did enough. And the good part about that schedule is that it actually gives me time to go to the gym. Um, it gives me time to eat lunch with my sister. It gives me time to eat uh, dinner with my family. It gives me time. Like yesterday, we just spontaneously decided to go out for dinner. And I was like, yeah, let's do it. I'm already done with like seven hours and 30 minutes of studying. And I'll do another 30 minutes when I get back. At least for this first week, let me tell you a bit about the schedule I'm following. I'll wake up around seven or eight. I will get in a glass of coffee and then I will just do Anki on my bed. Again, I know some people may think this is atrocious, but yo, if it's my time to study, I want to be relaxed while studying. And usually because I know this is serious, I don't fall asleep on my bed. Sometimes when I know it's not as serious, I'll fall asleep because I'm like, oh, this isn't that crazy. But so far, I've been doing this for about four days now. I will just do Anki on my bed. At 11, I will then do like a U-World block. A U-World block is 40 questions and I'll do random and then I'll do them each for 60 minutes. Um, so that block will take another hour. So around like noon or one, I have officially finished most of my Anki reviews and I have finished uh, a U-World block. Then the rest of my day, I actually spend reviewing the U-World block, which is crazy. Like there's just so much in every U-World question to know that it actually takes me like four to five hours to review the whole thing. I'm actually trying to cut down on that time because that's been like a huge time suck. But the way I review it is I go through every question and I actually physically make Anki cards related to that question and the concepts that it was testing. I don't just make one Anki card for a question. I make multiple because sometimes even the wrong answers teach you a lot, you know? So I might get a question right, but I will then look at the wrong answer and be like, oh, it's interesting. You know, almost inevitably, whenever they talk about polycystic ovarian syndrome, they also have a question on Cushing syndrome. So I should really know the differences between those two things. And so I will make a bunch of flashcards. And so by the end of the day, I'll have about like a hundred new flashcards. And then I'll end my night by physically actually like going through as many of the new cards that I made that day before my day resets, which is usually at around 11. And so that's kind of the schedule I follow. And sporadically throughout that, I'll be taking breaks. I'll be eating lunch. I'll be eating dinner and almost always around 10 or 11 I try to like leave and go hang out with my friends um, and hang out for about one hour but bro I'm not about to like lock myself in my room like that's ridiculous so that's kind of my schedule like my day-to-day -day schedule um, and so I would like I've liked it so far it's really nice like today I've already done around like four and a half hours of studying and it's 4 p.m. and so I still have three and a half hours left so what I'll do is go home shower, eat some food, and then get back on the grind. And hopefully by around eight or nine, I will have made my new Anki cards. I'll spend some time reviewing those Anki cards and, uh, and uh, call it a day around 10 or 11, hang out with my friends, go to sleep at noon, I mean midnight, and then we'll wake up tomorrow around six, seven or eight, and just start it all over again, man. I'm sure as my test day gets closer, I will get more and more into working more than eight hours a day. But for right now, eight hours a day I found is a good balance between staying sane, not burning out, which is really important I think for step studying, and actually like enjoying what I'm learning. Like I'm actually really having fun learning these things because on UWorld I'll get a decent amount right. I'll also get a decent amount wrong. And you learn so much through these nuances and I'm finally consolidating so much information that man, I'm, I'm pretty pumped about it. Here I am, I'm at home now, I take a nice shower. It's 4.50, which is a problem, but I'm gonna try to get in at least four more hours of work now. But let me just show you guys a bit about how I've been working. Details here, but this is my UWorld. And so what I'll do is now I'll add cards into my Anki based on my UWorld, but you'll see today I've done a decent number of cards. 
and that um, I also have some new cards left. So there's just so much to do and I'm going to try to catch up on these tonight and add new cards from all the questions I got wrong. Um, and I'm going to try to do it within four hours. I spend a lot of time reviewing questions, which has been my downfall, but I guess just try to relax and get through it slow and steady. Let's do it. Right, so it is officially 8.40. I've eaten dinner with my family, had a nice time. Um, I've gotten about seven hours or so of work done, according to my handy dandy um, track timekeeper that I'm using. It's just an app. I'll kind of show you that right here. Uh, and now what I'm going to do is actually go ahead and work for another hour and a half. Uh, that should put me at about eight and a half, if not nine hours. And that'll also put me at around 10 to 11 p.m., at which point I will go and hang out with friends. So just kind of show you guys, I still got in nine hours of work today and I'm still able to hopefully hang out, have fun with my family, hang, just chill. Uh, and I might even do this last part on my bed. If you didn't notice, I actually did transition from my bed to my desk. Um, but I needed to, tr because I felt like I was not focused on my bed, but I'm going to transition back now because I do want to chill there. And that's where I'm going to be studying about 10 and, um, You'll see that I did, you know, a lot of cards today. My goal was to finish all of the new cards, and you'll see that there's still 53 cards left. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to work a bit into um, the next day, which is going to start at technically 10. Um, and once I do that, I'll try to finish all my new cards uh, before I kind of call it a day for today. And so now if you look at the total amount of hours, I worked about like eight and a half hours today, and that was eight and a half hours of like solid work. Like that's not going on Instagram. That's not taking any breaks. That's eight and a half hours of solid work. Um, and for me, for right now, that's kind of where I want to be. Um, technically, I probably work a bit more than eight and a half, considering I'm going to go into the next day right now by about half an hour and try to finish up these new cards. But point being, I got in like a solid nine hours of work, um, which is good. Like, I do think this is a hard test. And especially for studying for this long, you have to pace yourself and you have to be sane. Um, and so it's going to be 10 soon. And maybe we'll work for another half an hour. And then uh, I'm going to go hang out with my friends because uh, why not? And so, yeah, just another day, just another step in the battle. So I'm just editing this video up for you guys. So just wanted to summarize today because I know it kind of went fast in the vlog, but I woke up around 8. I had some personal stuff to take care of, so I didn't get to studying until maybe around 10 or 11. Uh, and then from 10 or 11, I um, finished up my Anki. I did a couple of UWorld block. I did one UWorld block. I then went to the gym around 4 o'clock. Um, and then I came back, I tried to finish up the Euro block. I didn't actually get through all of it in terms of reviewing everything I got wrong, but I had a decent amount of new cars that I had built up from yesterday. So I f focused a lot on getting those things done. And, um, now I'm kind of just going to go ahead and try to review a bit more before I pass out and start it all over again tomorrow. Um, it's a crazy time. I like really enjoy this time because I really do enjoy synthesizing this information. But at the same time, it's important to keep yourself sane. And that's something I'm taking very seriously. Um, as someone in medicine, it's very easy to get burnt out. And especially if you just make every test the biggest test of your life, the problem is you're it's never going to end. Like we take so many tests. Like there's the USMLE step one, then there's step two, there's step two CS, there's step two CK. And then once you're even in residency, there's step three. And then once you're done with residency, there's internal medicine boards. Whatever it is you're doing, there's boards for everything. There's so many tests. Right. And so at this point, one thing I'm trying to do is realize like, this is my life now studying. So if anything, stressing out and making a huge deal of everything and making a regimented schedule is crazy. I should just focus on studying the most I can effectively. Like today I did eight and a half hours really well. And like when I'm studying, I'm studying, like I am zoned in. So if I can do that every day, then there's no reason for me to freak out. There should be no reason for me to feel like I can't go to the gym. There should be no reason for me to feel like I can't hang out with my family. I should do all of those things and try to balance everything. Um, so I guess that's the main hallmark that I've gotten um, in this battle so far. This is still really early, so it may change. Maybe my thoughts will change. I don't know. You guys tell me. But I'm just trying to keep it real in the sense that, hey, if I start going and I feel like, oh my god, I gotta go, 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 go. I just think I get burnt out and it's like, dude, this is just a test. I'm going to be taking hundreds of these. So, and I have already taken hundreds of these. So if you guys like this video, shoot a like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think. If you have any more questions, would love to answer them, but I'll see you otherwise in the next video. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Peace.